So these are the instructions to my giving the boot file. I'm going to start with the heel of the boot, which I've cut out of 80 pound cardstock in a darker color. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. There's a cut here and it's hanging on by just a little thread. You just want to loosen it as you're folding down on all those score lines. Okay, so next I'm going to start with one of these triangles that's in between two of my rectangles. This becomes a tab for me, folding it inwards like so. I'll do it on the other side as well, just making sure that my cut line is right up next to my score line. I'm just going to work my way around, just adhering all those tabs to the panels beside them, like so. And then I'm left with the two tabs on each side of the large rectangle. Sort of like a D shape, it's got a hole at the top and I have all my tabs at the bottom. I'm just going to put glue on that largest tab and I'm going to grab that bottom piece that fits right over it and I'm just adhering it just at that score line, making sure that it's even on the top and the bottom. Next, I'm putting glue on all of those tabs. And then I'm just going in there with my bone folder and I'm pressing down on all those tabs to make sure that I'm spreading that glue. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use a small ruler or something with a nice straight clean edge. So next, I'm going to work on the bottom of my boot. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. Now I'm going to fold down on the score lines for that top piece. That's the one that has the hole cut out of it. Now I have these two little triangles on both sides and they're very small. So what I do is I just take my Cricut scraping tool and I put it along the score line so it gives me a nice edge to fold down on. So this is gonna be the bottom of my boot. And then this is going to be the top. I'm going to adhere these two pieces together. I'm going to start by putting glue on that front piece like so. And then I'm just gluing the top piece that matches. So this is the front of my boot. I'm just gluing those two pieces together. And so these two layers on top of one another add a little bit of extra strength to the edge of my boot. So next I'm just putting glue on both these triangles that flank that piece that I've just glued together. I'm just bringing my edges down like so. And those little tiny triangles, I'm going to do the same so those little tiny triangles, I'm just putting a little bit of glue and adhering them to the sides. My score line right up against the cut edge. I'm doing that on both sides. Now I'm putting glue on that bottom, those bottom tabs on both sides. I'm bringing the top of my boot down. And I'm just going into that little hole that's on the top of my boot, making sure that those sides are adhering properly. Next I have these two triangles on each side and this flap, and these fit right inside like so. So I'm just putting glue on those two triangles to begin with. Tucking them inside and bringing them up to the edges like so. And I'm, again, I'm going in with my bone folder. And then I have those two pieces at the back. So I'm just going to glue them together. Now I have this piece that goes on the top. 
I'm just putting glue all along that little frame and I'm putting a liner piece on the top. And then I have the sides of my boot. They look identical, but they're not. I've taken two wedges out of these tabs and there are no wedges out of these tabs. So this is the one that's gonna to go towards the front of my boot. I am going to pull down on all the score lines and I'm just pinching down on all the score lines at the bottom. I don't want them going all the way up. I just want the bottom ones to be defined. So I'm just with my thumb and forefinger just pressing down. So now I have my two sides. I'm putting glue on the tab between them. Just joining up the sides like so. I want the top to be nice and even. I want the score lines here in one continuous line. I've drawn this pattern using the pen feature in Design Space. So I had my pen draw all the stitching and uh, the pattern. What I regularly do is I have two of the same images stacked up on top of one another so that if my pen fails in one particular area, hopefully on the next pass, my pen will cover that area. So I've just put glue on that other tab and I folded it under and I'm placing it right on top. I'm looking for the panel that has the two tabs that have a wedge taken out of them. And I'm just bringing those, the, those three tabs forward like so. I'm gonna put glue on those three tabs. And then I'm just, I have my hand inside the boot and I'm just pressing down on the top where those tabs are so that the glue takes. So these, th so now that these three tabs are glued in, I'm just raising this up a little bit and folding these tabs inwards. And then I'll just put glue on all these tabs. And I'm going, again, I'm going down and pushing down. So the score lines have to match up with those points and the edges have to be straight. And I'm just going in and I'm pushing down from the inside on those tabs. I'm going to take my heel and I'm going to put glue all along my heel and then I'm just going to glue that down. I'm going in again to the top from the top and just spreading that glue. So I'm just put glue on the piece that goes at the toe like so. So then I have these two decorative pieces. You just want to fold down on those tabs at each end. And then I'm just taking my Cricut tool and I'm just wrapping it around the score line that's in the center. Kind of want it to curve over. Put glue on both tabs and fold them down. I'm putting glue and I'm just gluing them down to the side like so. And I'm just going to do that for both sides. So there's my boot. Now I'm just gonna work on the flowers. Using my scraper tool again, I'm just putting my scraper tool along the score lines on each petal and I'm folding upwards like so. And then I can reinforce by hand, just cup them like so. Now this is an image in design space and I'm not entirely sure that this is how they're supposed to go together. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with all three layers. I have my largest flower. I'm just putting a little bit of foam tape. I use foam tape because that's what I have on hand. A foam dot would probably work a lot better. I have two layers of very, very thin foam tape. I'm just putting my other layer on top and I want the petals to go in between the previous layer. And then I'm doing this again. Two more layers of foam tape in the center. And again, my smaller layer on top. And then I have these adhesive rhinestones and I'm just going to put in the center like so. So my flowers are 65 pound cardstock. I have this bright green vinyl. This is a wooden dowel but you could also use one of those wooden barbecue sticks. I want the tip of my dowel showing. So I'm just about half an inch, maybe a little bit more, three quarters of an inch of my dowel showing. I'm exposing my vinyl, I'm just putting it right on the edge, rolling it backwards a little bit and then rolling it forwards. Then I have this little holder that I've created and put in the file and I'm going to put a little bit of foam tape on either side. So I'm just I'm 
And that's the flower for my boot. Now I want it to be approximately this length. I'd rather it a little bit long. I can always cut if I want to. And there's the flower for my boot. I'm just going to make a few more flowers the exact same way.